We're going to uh, go now to the Philippines where very young eyes are peering out from behind bars. Now, this is a very important story, but it is not a story that you're going to find comfortable to watch. Children not yet in their teens, languishing in overcrowded prisons, some in the same cells as pedophiles. Chris Rogers was there. 13-year-old Edwin, just one of 20,000 children behind bars. Some guilty of petty crimes, others guilty of nothing, homeless and unwanted, denied their human rights. Locked up in adult, overcrowded jails, open to abuse. <laughs> Sharing beds with paedophiles. This is the evil in Philippine jails the world wasn't meant to see. To gather our evidence, we went undercover with a team of charity workers bringing help to inmates, claiming to document urgent cases on camera. We were welcomed to a hell on earth, adult cells crammed full of bodies and disease. This prison's warden told me he barely had the resources to keep the inmates alive. It's a college of crime for child prisoners. There are too few social workers to help them, not enough courts to put them on trial. Imagine sticking your head inside a fully heated oven that stinks of urine and body odour, and that's pretty much what we're experiencing here in this jail. We've only been here half an hour, and it's absolutely unbearable. Imagine being here for a month like a Sama has. The 13-year-old is accused of stealing a necklace. Catholic missionary Shea Cullen has decided to dedicate his life to helping these vulnerable prisoners. He brought us to a jail he's particularly concerned about, where we found the true horrors of mixed cells. At this prison, teenage boys are locked up with sexual offenders. One giggled as he told us he had a special relationship with the boys. Another said he was in charge. I sleep anywhere. In the floor, star, What's going on? Well, um, it's uh, difficult to say really, but uh, it would seem that there's a lot of... Uh, you know, men here who would be have a great interest in the boys. No, maybe they have some uh, pedo pedophile instincts. Shay's inspiration for his work comes from five-year-old Rose. He discovered her sipping a typical childhood treat of cola in a cramped prison cell. The missionary's grim discoveries never end. Kareem is 11, charged with the pettiest of crimes, imprisoned with 200 of the most wanted including murderers and alleged terrorists. Kareem is petrified. In another jail, 14-year-old Alpi told us his back is rotting. This is what happens when you sleep on a dirty floor. Manmi sleeps on a makeshift bed like the one he had on the streets. They feed me and I have friends here. It's better than being on the streets, he told me. How can a child think jail is better than life on the streets? We search for more children like Marmi in the city slums. Under a bridge, we found a community of orphaned and abandoned children. They sniff glue to heal the pain of homelessness and numb the fear of police abuse. Last week, Jim Boy, who's just 10, managed to escape from prison. He said it was okay for a while because the food was good, but the police beat him, so he ran away. While we filmed, a patrol car sped by. They suddenly scurried up a sewer pipe, a well-rehearsed escape. Children aren't just treated like rubbish, they live off it. On the city dumps, families search for food and junk to sell. There are dozens of communities like this across the Philippines and it makes you wonder if free people end up living and working in conditions like this, how can you expect imprisoned people to be found 
in decent, humane conditions in jails. It's also hardly surprising why children turn to crime to try and make a living. But 13-year-old Edwin knows there's a high price to pay. Four months of prison life has scarred him physically and mentally. While we were filming, Edwin learned Father Sheikh Cullen wants to rescue him. He's demanding his release, demanding justice. It's an agonizing wait for Edwin, but a single ray of hope in his miserable existence. Chris Rogers, ITV News, Manila. When it comes to children being held in filthy, life-threatening jails, the Philippines certainly isn't alone. As Harry Smith reports, the plight of imprisoned young people is getting noticed worldwide. It was the plight of five-year-old Rose, who was found in a Philippines jail, which inspired the campaign to free the country's child prisoners. But around the world, thousands more are tonight behind bars. UNICEF says up to a million children are held in adult prisons in some of the 192 countries which have signed up to an international agreement outlawing such practices. UNICEF is actually lobbying um, for governments around the world to comply with the Convention um, on the Rights of the Child. Um, we are deeply distressed that even though most every country has signed up to it, um, that they are falling far short of their responsibilities. I took a copy of the ITV News report to the Philippines Embassy in London, where the uh, deputy ambassador had agreed to be interviewed. Be and after learning ITV of its contents, tape. she declined to say anything mm. other than this. Thank you. I shall transmit this to the appropriate authorities in Manila. The report also claims that in Pakistan, children as young as 12 can be executed. Children in Albania were found in cells with no toilets and forced to sleep in their own feces. Brazilian prisons are described as overcrowded, filthy and violent with contagious diseases left untreated. In Burundi, children are left to die with no proper medical care or sanitation. And in Indonesia, eight-year-olds can be tried in adult courts. These children are languishing in, in prisons with no one fighting for their rights. We want to give them a voice and make sure that um, their rights are upheld. We're calling on the UN to appoint a special rapporteur for children in prison. The UN said tonight it would welcome anything which helped focus on the rights of children. Harry Smith, ITV News. All right. In the second part of our series on child prisoners, we're going to be taking a closer look at the work that goes into trying to rehabilitate children who have been abused in custody. That report is going to air tomorrow right here on Your World Today.